friends this is atishesh welcome back to the phone gap video tutorial today we're going to see how we can manage the custom plugins by using the plug manager okay uh, if you remember that we have i have posted the videos uh, around 2 to 3 days before that how we can create a custom plugin okay in that video we have seen uh, the everything manually like designing the xml structure of your plugin the folder structure of your plugin okay so every small things we have maintained it manually right but now you can do it automatically by using the plug manager okay very good facility okay so today we're going to see how we can use the plug man to create a custom plugin okay so let's create a first project and then we'll create a simple plugin by using a plug manager so here i'm going to create my first uh, cordova application so let's fire a command cordova create paste app If you don't know how to install a plugman, you can visit my existing video so you can get a plugman installed on your uh, Windows PC. So it will be helpful to you for creating a custom plugin. So our project is ready. So I'm gonna build it first. Cordova build Android. Okay. So our project will get ready. to fire a simple command okay to create a, a plugin custom plugin structure okay so i will create a plugin inside my test application over here so it will become easy to maintain uh, according to the project right so first of all i'll create a plugman plugman create okay so here are some uh, points that you have to maintain that so first of all plugman create and uh, pass the name right so the name plugman create name name uh, i'll set it print name right and then plugin id what will be the plugin id so i'll set it the cordova cordova dot plugin dot print name okay this is my plugin id and then last the plugin underscore version whatever whatever you want you can set it okay so if you notice inside the test application we have a print name folder and uh, the whole structure is generated for us right so just open it in visual studio so it'll, it will show you properly so here is our plugin id the plugin version the plugin name and the js module okay you will find a uh, you will find a print name.js inside a uh, www folder so if i go into the www here is file right and inside you will find a simple method called cool method okay it will return the uh, whatever the value you have passed into this function right so currently if you notice we have only xml and json sorry and javascript file we do not have uh, any platform related file like if you are uh, going to create a plugin for android then we have to pass the java file dot java file and if you are going to create for ios then you have to create dot h and dot m file okay 
but right now there is nothing over here so what we what we are going to do we are going to add the platform to our plugin so first of all move to your plugin and then plugman platform add platform underscore name android okay as i think something is missing here is your name plugman platform add platform underscore name android here will be your name plugma plugman platform add platform underscore name android yeah now that's correct okay now let's check the src folder src over here and just open that in wordpad okay you will find the everything over here this is our central method this is our method full method which is declared inside the js file and the variable which whatever you pass inside uh, the function it will return as it is okay so here i'm gonna make it custom actually uh, return from custom plugin so we'll get a clear idea about it okay now just save it now we are going to install this plugin to our plugin okay uh, we have just created this plugin over here right now we are going to install this plugin to our project so again we have to use again plugman so here is plugman install platform that is android project project will be inside a inside a plbbfo project plugman install platform android and then dash dash project project will be to come back to your main project directory and then you can fire this command plugin sorry plugman install platform android project platform android and the plugin is uh, print name just press enter will automatically install this plugin to our project if everything goes successful yeah and everything is successful right now we'll try to use this plugin right the most important point is how we can use this plugin right so here i'm going to open the whole project inside visual studio this is our test app open okay if you notice if you want to see the plugin where to install then you have to go for platform android and uh, inside the www folder you will find all the plugins over here plugin www and print name okay so now we are doing some changes in our www folder here first of all i'll remove the extra comments so we can see the code properly also remove the meta tag that is the security policy okay and now cordova.js we are going to put over here and just remove all of this stuff and also css this is the default and now we are going to print our standard code device ready i think you guys have know why i'm creating the document ready because wh whenever you want to access any plugin you have to access that plugin inside the device ready event only okay otherwise you cannot 
access the plugin before device ready event and the ready spelling is wrong Now here, how you can access the plugin, okay? If you remember, inside our plugin, we have a Cordova plugin print name printer, right? And we have uh, assigned this pool method to our exporters, okay? Now, to access the plugin, what do you have to do? You have to write Cordova dot plugin dot print name dot pool method. Okay, and then your first parameter that is a B shape, and then success parameter, and then error parameter. Now just build this project. So building this project, just run Cordova, run Android. Okay, we should get an alert with the proper message which we have defined in .java file, right? Custom message. I think that is the message. Custom. This is custom message from plugin. Message from custom plugin and our name so ready to deploy installing yes we got this right return from custom plugin and this is our name whatever we are passing into the plugin right okay this is the standard way to access the project like exporters you do not need to do anything inside the J uh, javascript and if you want to do some different stuff okay you do not want to access using the cordova dot plugins dot print name okay you can also put your own names too right for that you need to changes inside a plugin uh, js file okay so i'll show you that what kind of changes over there so first of all i'll ha have to use something but that is the uh, very old technology right now so i recommend uh, do not made any kind of changes over here okay see these are the some basic points okay i'll explain it okay first of all what you have to do is create a function variable so I'll uh, name it testy equals to function and uh, set it to blank right and then okay we are assigning pool method function to our testing object right and then testing we are again defining a install and here is the window dot plugins we are assigning this into the window dot plugin okay and this is the access point like window dot plugins dot uh, i like to access with the print yeah otherwise yeah it's only print okay print and just pass the object of a testing and again assign this print variable back to here and uh, testing would be installed like this right this is the way to access the project sorry access the plugin in different way window dot plugins dot print let's test whether it's working or not right so i'll copy this and uh, okay actually th there is no need to worry about it because we are doing direct changes inside print name okay let's run this project so 
get a clear idea. Okay, right now I shouldn't get any alert. Why? Because there is an error. Because Cordova is not defined. So I'll comment it. And again I'll copy a whole code and put it down here and write the window dot plugin dot string dot string dot pull method right the exact name which we have defined over here window dot plugin dot string dot plugin is it plugin yeah that's plugin right now just run this project again so right now we should get an alert it's ready to install and this is the way right this is the very easiest way to create a plugin by using a plug man okay and now if you want to add some more methods to your plugin it's again very simple just open your plugin javascript write your uh, interaction javascript method okay and again in src pass or generate a particular different method and write over here like if uh, else if if like, like action blah 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 action method uh, will be common with the get message okay like that you can create your own different methods and do whatever you want right and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any queries, if suggestions, okay, actually this is the suggestions provide, uh, provided by uh, one of my uh, viewers. So I'll name it. Uh, let me actually uh, yeah. Okay. After watching this, he told me hello friends okay kaushik majumdar right why not to use the plugin plugman to create a plugin okay uh, i have created this video tutorial and then i forgot to create a uh, automated plugin that's why uh, it's a continuous series and uh, he just suggests me that you should provide a plugman tutorial too right so that's why I'm uh, creating this video tutorial. Uh, these kind of suggestions I want from you guys, right? So uh, thank you for your suggestions and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel. And till then, keep learning. See you in the next videos. Thanks. Bye bye. And I just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors, DevMountain.com. Um, just because of them, I'm recording this video tutorial for you guys. Actually, they are running a coding bootcamp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development, <coughs> web development, iOS development, and UX design for the full time and after hours. Okay, uh, the main important point they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field. Okay, so uh, I would like to request to just check out their website demartin.com and uh, I have already put uh, put down the links inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference okay uh, till then keep learning bye bye